Hello everyone, my name is Elena. I'm known as the Whimsical Stitcher here on FlossTube. Today is October 17th, 2024, and this is my channel about cross stitch. I am also a shop owner and I have my own online needle workshop. And um, I'm also on Instagram, so you can check me out both places. I'll link them below. Um, I wanted to do a floss tube extra based on my Disney themed or Disney inspired projects, whether they be fully finished or ones that I have in my shop for sale or ones that I have a hopes and dreams into one day stitching or my current whips. Um, and that is due because I will be attending the wish upon a stitch retreat in the next coming weeks based in Anaheim, California. I am local to Southern California, so that's really convenient for me to attend a retreat. Um, so since it's a Disney-based extra, if you're not into Disney, you probably want to skip this one. But I am into Disney, as you can tell, and my shirt. Um, so I will start with my fully finished objects, uh, or all fully finished um projects and then my um, finished but not fully finished projects, my whips, um, charts that I have personally in my personal stash that I want to stitch one day and then um, a couple of uh, patterns or charts that are in my website for available for purchase and um, yeah so that's all I wanted to do is uh, talk all things Disney. It's going to be great. So let's get started, shall we? Um, so first, this is my oldest, oldest whip, and I'm in the process of um, refinishing it. I had stitched this back in 1998, back when I was pregnant with my daughter, and um, I had it framed in a very oak light brown uh, frame and had it finished. And then I, I had finished it myself. And back in 1998, I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, as you can see from the wrinkles, I had it framed that way. So I did it myself, didn't come out very nice. So now that I have progressed and we're in 2024, um, I will reframe this myself, you know, um, cause it's really old. I don't like the frame anymore. Times have changed. Um, but I picked out a white frame that I picked out at Michael's. So I'll re I will reframe this myself and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. It needs a good bath also because it's very old, 20, 26 years old now. So this is my oldest one. So there's that one. And I need a place to stack all of these. Okay. Um, I have this finished one. I finished this as, um, I purchased this pattern off Etsy and the fabric is fabric, fabric flare. If you're interested in this fabric, I can uh, order that for you. Um, I finished it myself. Not too bad. I don't think it's too bad but I'm not a professional framer. So I finished this, I think probably two years ago now, maybe longer. I don't quite remember when. So that's that one. And then Joy, I purchased this pattern off Etsy as well. And uh, it is another fabric flare. And these were both on 18 count. The Bambi one is probably more of a 14 count. I don't remember what I was stitching back then. That was 26, 25 years ago. Does that really age me? Well, I'll take off my ears now. That was just for fun. <laughs> I only wear them at Disneyland. <laughs> um, anyway, I purchased this off Etsy. The, Michael, the frame is from Michaels. And I framed it myself. Not too bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So this one, so this chart I have, um, this is my, my personal chart. And I actually stitched um, 
Maleficent on the same kind of snowflake fabric, flare fabric. I have not finished this and quite yet, um, and I want to stitch uh, the Evil Queen, Cruella. I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch these two, but definitely the Evil Queen and definitely Cruella. I'm not sure about the other three. I haven't decided on those yet. One day. That's in my to-do pile. One day. And so now we're going to get into whips because, so I used to stitch back in the 90s. Um, I did a lot of stitching when I was younger and then, you know, life happened. And so I took a really long break, probably from like 99, 2000 until I came back to stitching in 2015. Lots changed since then. Obviously I was stitching on basic white um, back then. Um, okay, this one. It's not Disney, but I feel like it has a Disney vibe to it. This is Bellatrix from Bella Filipina. Uh, if you're a regular on my channel, you've seen me show this before, but I really feel like this witch kind of, you know, with a little castle in the background, I really feel like, like, like it's Disney vibe. So here she is. And I haven't gotten too far along. If you're new here, you'll find I have several large projects. So next year, that is the goal of mine is to finish a lot of these projects. That's what my goal is now. By the time we get there, I'll, you know, it's really hard when you see so many new projects or new new charts coming out and they're just stunning and you just you can't help yourself sometimes oh i need hold on just a second excuse me so i have this book and this is a my book about all my whips so i have all my whips listed here with fabrics and everything um and my progress, but also like the cover pages, especially for my full coverage projects because I have just have them in Pattern Keeper. So this is Tilt and Crafts, this is Jack and Sally. And I was stitching this on a, a white opalescent and then I changed my mind and I wasn't really digging on it. So I had to do a restart and I restarted it on this beautiful fabric. And I do park, so you'll have hanging threads. And I've just barely got the top in so far. I am not gonna stitch all the white background um, because that would just be a lot. And I don't remember, yes I do, yes I do. I remember what it is. It's Ada uh, 18 Count Eros by Under the Sea Fabrics is my fabric choice. And I'm really enjoying this colored fabric better. And of course it's a lessons and I think it will be beautiful on this. And I just saw someone posted on the Tilton Crafts Facebook channel or website. Um, and somebody is like almost done. I forget her name, but it's coming out beautiful. Um, she was, she did a really good job. She wasn't stitching the white background either. She um, used a colored fabric, and if you join that Tilton Crafts um, Facebook, you'll be able to see it. It's coming out beautiful. Loved it. Um, let's see. What's next? Um, sorry. So I, my next one is Sleeping Beauty, which is, I feel is Disney vibes. I had to print out the page because um, I, lo I lost the whole package. I don't know where it went. Um, but this is Sleeping Beauty by Mirabilia. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, 
This is on 18 Count Jazz. I started this in 2020. And this is on Ada. So I haven't quite made too much progress on that one. But I will. I will. You just need more time. And then next I have uh, Rapunzel. Again, I feel like it's Disney, I guess, from Tangled, because it wasn't originally Disney. At least I don't think it was. And I just got a new, I did a new start on this, or I um, started this this year, so I don't have a lot of progress on it. I think it goes this way. And my fabric is, this is the under, under the Sea Fabrics. And I don't remember the name. If you want to know the name, I can look it up. I have it somewhere here. So I just started on this little edge here, which is this part right in here, just the just the top. I think I've only put in a couple of days on that one. Okay. And she lives in my Beauty and the Beast bag. This one is, if you watch my channel, you'll, you've seen this one before. Uh, but if you're new, there you go. Beauty and the Beast, again by Tilton Crafts. And I am, I'm not stitching the background. This is on 18 count. Um, Dreamscape Sky Blue Opalescent. It's by Fabric Flare, and I do have this uh, fabric in my shop. And, oh, you can see my needle minder, my Beauty and the Beast needle minder. So what I what I do is when I go to Disneyland, I, I find these, um, I find the pins, and then I give them to my husband and say, here, fix it. And he knows that he needs to get his little machine there and, saw off the back and I glue hot or hot not hot glue I use glue <laughs> I use adhesive uh, to to glue a, new, a magnet on there so I can make myself a needle minder so here she is all rolled out and I was super excited about this um the other day because I finally reached bottom I was so excited because I finally hit the bottom so you see, let's see, right here, that's the bottom. So I see an end in sight. I think I'm like 78 or 79% done, but literally this is the bottom right there. So I'm super excited. So I was hoping to get it done this year, but yeah, that might not happen considering I keep starting new things. So on my regular update, you'll see um, my next, my new start that I that I just started this week actually because it's my birthday month so I get a birthday start and it doesn't count so. uh, my next one is Maleficent this is how I got back into stitching in 2015 yeah 2015 um, I was on Facebook and I saw someone post this as a whip and I don't know how, I think I just saw it on a regular cross stitch group and that's how I found Heaven and Earth Designs. And I wasn't back into stitching yet. I just kind of, on a whim, let's look it up because I, I loved cross stitching when I was young. So anyways, uh, fast forward. This is the one I started with and you think I'd be done now, but I'm not. And again, back when I started back in 2015, I had no idea about all the fabrics. So I purchased a, a white Ada at 
probably Michael's or Joanne's or something. And I want to say I'm probably 30, 36, 38 percent completed. And again, my Disney pin that I converted into a magnet needle minder. I actually did work on this probably two or three weeks ago and I actually got in a little bit, a little bit more of the background. It wasn't enough to actually show on the channel on my other floss too because it just wasn't, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Um, okay, so that's all my Disney inspired whips. I probably forgot one around here somewhere, but it is what it is. And so then um, I have several patterns, charts that I um, would like to stitch one day. I actually purchased this one for to stitch for a friend of mine and um, I haven't started it yet. Super cute. I love this one. Her favorite Disney character is Jasmine. One day. So these are all the ones that are my personal stash that one day I will get to. And this one. And then, and these are all uh, paper charts that I own. If you have a little girl, I thought that would be perfect for a children's room. I have two grandsons, so I don't think they'd appreciate it. Although they like Disney, they just like Cars, Cars Land. One day, maybe I'll get a girl. I keep asking when my next one's coming, but so far, just two grandsons. Uh, this is Bell and Books. So one day I will get around to this, to these. Uh, this one is super old. I, but I really like it. And I think if you would put it on some colorful fabric or some Christmas fabric, this would be super cute. And I have another book. I didn't grab it though. I have another book of like, let me see. Well, I don't know where it went. Okay, I don't know where it went. I have another book of several. It's a bigger book. Oh well, that's somewhere around here. In addition to this one, I have another book in addition to this one. There's several cute patterns in here um, that I just absolutely loved. I really, really, really want to stitch some of these. And I think if you put them on some colored fabric or some kind of printed fabric flare with a snowflake or snow falling, they would be stunning. That's on my list of things to do. And then uh, I just purchased this one. I just saw this one on the Owl Forest Embroidery uh, Facebook group. Um, it's not, oh here, it's Black Roses. I saw this in their Facebook group and I fell in love. See that evil queen with her raven or her bird? I am going to, I just purchased this. I downloaded the PDF chart right before I started filming because I had saw it the other day and I'm like, I have to get this. I love the frame. I love everything about it. And this is a must have, must start for me. I am gonna change it up a little bit. I will probably stitch it on a different color fabric and I will probably add just a little bit of color because my idea is to stitch the roses in a very deep crimson red. And I think that would look good just to kind of accent it throughout the pattern. Haven't decided on a fabric yet, but that's my plan. Maybe I should start that soon. I don't know. Beautiful. So I got that. Um, as far as what I have in my shop, I'll just show you two things real quick. Um, I don't want to uh, have this go too long. Um, so I have two, two, I, I will have more, but I'm waiting for a shipment of supplies to come in. 
Um, I do have this on my website. This is a glass slipper, which I feel is, well, it says Cinderella, so let's go ahead and say it. It's Disney, Disney themed. And it does have all the beads and the prank. So this is on my website. That is not something I'm currently stitching, but it's on my list of things to do. And this one, Poison Apple, Snow White. And again, the beads and the credit. And there's a couple more I have, I'm just waiting on. So they're not really listed on my website because I'm waiting on um, beads um, and some Krynik to come in. Um, I have available would be the, um, the magic lamp. And then the other one is the Mad Tea Party, which would be this one. I'm just waiting for a few more supplies to come in. And then, and my daughter would be home because you can probably hear her now. And I have one more. Let me see. I have one more around here. Anyways, that's it. Oh no. And I want to show you, I'm already ready for 2025. I have my planner. I purchased this off the Happy Planner. And so this will be my planner for next year, and I'm ready to go. So that's it. I think that's all I had to show you. Um probably forgot a few things, but hey. Next time. Anyways, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time and hopefully I'll see you at the retreat if you are attending in the next couple weeks. Thank you very much and happy stitching everyone. Bye-bye.